So, so one, you would definitely want to go check out the site to get a little, little more of a breakdown. But the nutshell on it is validators handle what you would probably think of as what miners do. So when a block is full, validators go through, confirm, process that those transactions, make sure it's valid. And then there's a rotation and then the next validator handles the block. So inside of Pulse Chain, there's 33 validators and they rotate on who actually processes and manages the block. And all of them maintain the consensus to make sure those things are true. So uh, validators, there's a few different names for them in different systems, but validators basically replace what you would see in miners and proof of work, SHA-256, all those things in, in Bitcoin and other proof of work systems are replaced by validators who process the blocks with proof of stake, meaning they have stake put up for them or in our case, a delegated proof of stake, which means that you can actually take your pulse, vote for the validator that you trust to run and keep consensus in the network. So rather than having all these, these GPUs doing all this mining and burning up electricity, what we do is we trust 33 validators and there's more waiting in case there's issues. But we point to them, we use our stake, we say, hey, here's a bag. This is our collateral that says we're gonna do a good job. We're gonna maintain consensus. And it makes for a much, much more efficient system than proof of work, much more efficient both on the chain and also in the waste is what it does when it comes to electricity and resources.